For decades, the huge monolithic block of granite in the middle of the cemetery in the Swiss town of Kerr was ignored by passers-by. No one seemed to know quite what it was. The 13-ton stone monument that dwarfs the nearby gravestones is, however, causing controversy presently and embarrassment. Research by local journalists has revealed that the monolithic block has links to Nazi Germany. At the same time, it highlights neutral Switzerland's own awkward relations with its World War II neighbours. The cemetery in Kerr is in the centre of town. Many people pass it every day on their way to work or when going out shopping. At present, the monument at the cemetery is untended and is covered in moss, and the engravings on it are difficult to discern. At first sight, it appears to be a war memorial, however faint lettering on the object reads, 1914-1918, to here ruined Deutsche Soldaten, here lie German soldiers. The question abounds as to why would German soldiers be buried in Switzerland, a country which has historically been neutral. In fact, thousands of wounded prisoners of war, both French and British, as well as German, were treated and interned in Switzerland during the First World War. Some died of their injuries in Switzerland during the course of the war, while others died during the 1918 flu pandemic. The monument in Kerr was not built until 1938, 20 years after the men it commemorates had died. Indeed, the monument was not built to mourn the dead soldiers. It was built for propaganda purposes. As the Nazis grew in power in Germany, their propaganda involved a cult-like worship of their war dead. In the 1930s, the German War Graves Commission became part of Hitler's propaganda machine. The task of the German War Graves Commission was to create visible signs of Nazi power in Germany's neighbours as well as at home. There were many thousands of Germans living in Switzerland at the time, and they were organised. Various organisations prevalent in Germany could also be found in Switzerland, such as the National Socialist Party, the German Labour Front, and the Hitler Youth. They were, however, only open to Germans and not to the Swiss population. Germany's Wargrave Commission submitted ambitious plans to build a vast mausoleum in the Swiss town of St. Gallen. This was rejected by the Swiss authorities, but a monument in Kerr was approved. Polished and engraved in Munich, the monolith was delivered to Kerr on the eve of the Second World War. At the time, Kerr's residents will have known what the monument was for. Indeed, on Nazi holidays, swastikas were placed on the structure. Some residents were, however, unhappy with the monument, with at least one indignant letter being written in 1938 to the local newspaper, the author of which questioned, why do we have a Nazi stone in our cemetery? Others, however, will have been supportive. Swiss sympathisers of Nazi Germany were well documented in the canton of Gauboden, of which Kerr is the capital. Homegrown Swiss fascist parties never really took off, however, winning only two seats in the Swiss Parliament in 1935 and never standing for election again. Throughout the course of the Second World War, Germans in Switzerland continued to be active in the Nazi party and continued to display their Nazi sympathies. The Swiss, hoping to stay out of the fighting, made compromises with Berlin, banking Nazi gold and turning away Jewish refugees. One day following the end of the war in Europe, the 9th of May 1945, the Swiss government tried to punish Swiss Nazis. German Nazis, meanwhile, were expelled and attempts were made to remove any relics of Nazi Germany and fascist sympathies. It is likely, however, that the monument in Kerr Cemetery was forgotten. Despite a certain embarrassment, very few people have suggested tearing down the monument. While this may be so, even fewer say it should be left just as it is. Instead, a consensus seems to be forming around a proposal to re-examine and publicise the period of the Second World War in Swiss history, just as Switzerland has had to re-examine and apologise for its treatment of Jewish refugees during the course of the war. It has been suggested that Switzerland should create a memorial out of the monument to remember the horrific crimes of the Nazis and to serve as a warning to the future of the dangers of totalitarianism. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates, like and share. You can also help to support the channel at Patreon.
Details are in the description box below.